Hello everybody and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to import more complex drawings and use a TXF file format. So this will save our time and you will see how quick and easy it really is. As you remember, we discussed this issue in the past, but today it's going to be an advanced lesson <laughs> for advanced user, let's say it that way. So I'm going to use my designer. As you see, uh, we have a plate with some perforation and four notched corners and some fixing holes. So I just wanted to show you this drawing, the original one, and now I can go to designer. I'm going to close this one here. And here we go. Of course, you can use this access via tools and go to Mavaka product designer or there is also another way. You can click on products, perforated texture sheets, and just in a minute, we can click on discover the Mavaka product designer. That will bring us to our designer interface. We need to wait a little bit. And here we are. So first of all, I'm going to choose the perimeters, whole shape, round, perforation, round hole staggered, 10 millimeters and whole pitch 15. I know the perimeters of my drawing, so I should set all perimeters at the very beginning. And pattern, finished pattern, material, still 1.5. And surface without further treatment. And all I need to do now is to click on add position, confirm my perimeters, and choose this option, existing DXF drawing. So I'm going to choose my drawing units, millimeters, and now I can click on choose a file. Let's see what happens next. Have it in downloads. That's this file. So I'm going to click on open. And we need to wait a little bit because designer needs to calculate the perforation, the outline, fixing holes, etc. So here we are. I see my external outline and that's actually the first step. So first of all, I need to choose the outline of my plate. I click on it and you see it's highlighted in green. Then I can go to the perforated zone import. Today I'm going to show you a very simple way to import your perforation. You click, you just click here, calculate perforation based on corner holes, which are located diagonally. So this is my first corner hole. I'm going to choose it. So click to select. And then I need to select the corner hole at the bottom diagonally. Right. So these are the outer corner holes. And now I click on calculate perforation. And we have our perforated area marked. So it's ready to go. Now I can go to import fixing holes. I have two kinds of fixing holes, smaller and bigger ones 8 millimeters and 12 millimeters. I'm going to start with those one at the top. So I need to choose type of fixing hole round. 12 millimeters. Where are you? OK, now I can choose them, select. I can make a bigger selection. Now I need to say import a selected fixing holes. And again, I select them also at the bottom and click on import a selected fixing holes again. Now I can choose those smaller ones, eight millimeters. And again, selection on the left side, import a selected fixing holes. I can actually zoom in to show you and select on the right side and click import. Whenever they are done and have been imported correctly, they are highlighted in green as you see here so it's very intuitive and now i can go to import and turn off the assistant let's see our drawing <laughs> i i'm pretty sure you are eager to see it so 
going to turn it to grid. This is our drawing. You see how simple and how quick it was. So now I would like to show you also another useful feature. So we're going to choose another file. Once again, existing XF drawing. It may happen that you actually need to rotate your DXF file. I'm going to open this drawing and show you how that works. As you remember, uh, the value, the maximum for width is 1500 millimeters. So sometimes it can exceed and then you would like to rotate your uh, drawing. No problem with that. I only need to say what's the angle. I would like to rotate it by 90 degrees and I click on rotate template and it's done. Right, I can just choose the outline, go to import perforated zone. And this time I can do it in a different way. I can add a rectangle. That means that I will be drawing over my perforation. Of course, I zoom out and I zoom in. So this is a different way to import your perforation. OK, that's done. I can go to Import and turn it the Assistant. I go to Perforated Zone section, and here we are. I hope it will be very useful, a very useful tool for you. And I wish you a nice day and enjoy Designer. Thank you for your attention.